Hi everyone, my name is Holly and today I have a very different video for you. It's actually pretty late in the night and I was scrolling through my video ideas list and I came upon a video that I wrote down that I totally forgot about and it's very different than the typical content I create so I hope you enjoy it. But a couple months ago I came across a video titled Dolly Parton's Bookshelf Tour and I was like okay i'm kind of interested but before i clicked on it i was like wait this would actually make a pretty great video i think dolly parton is a very famous and very colorful person so i think it would be really fun to watch together i highly doubt she is rocking some grim dark adult fantasy on her bookshelves in fact i hate to assume someone's taste in books but i kind of think she's going to have a lot of like western fiction probably a lot of religious books um, uh, maybe historical fiction, romance, you know, she's an older lady, so I think she's going to have a lot of classics in her collection, but I don't know, I might be surprised. Now in preparation for this video, I did click on the video and kind of skipped through it to make sure it had no copyrighted music in it because, I mean, it is Dolly Parton and she will snatch my monetization away so fast. But it looks like we're safe, so let's go ahead and take a look. If you got a good book and you're into a good story, you're gonna have it with you, where you wherever you are. If you get a chance, you can go in the bathroom and read another chapter or read a few lines just to kind of keep the story going. You'll find the time to read. Okay, I already have something to say with that statement, and she is totally right. I feel like when it comes to reading, especially for people who don't um, read avidly, it's kind of like people who say they don't have time to work out. If you're scrolling through your phone for 10 minutes, you have 10 minutes to work out. And it's the same with reading. You can read 10 pages a day. It's super easy. You can do it. Hi there. This is Dolly Parton, and I want to give Marie Claire a peek into my personal library. So welcome to Shelf Portrait. <laughs> well, this is me trying to knock stuff off my shelves because I kind of wanted to show some of the things that are on my shelf. Her of shelf course, is I got so a picture organized. of my mom, dad, and me, and we got my husband, Carl, and my little dog, Popeye, from years ago. And of course, this special little piano is like a family heirloom. Really plays. I may write a song sing, Dolly, on sing. that. But anyhow, these are just little ornaments and stuff that some of my favorite books that I scattered around. But seriously, I have hundreds and hundreds of books. I give books away, but I definitely see some religious books in the background. It's so hard for me to give my books away. I just kind of like get selfish and and uh, hang on to them, especially ones that I love. I just go back and reread them. Here's a special book my sister Willardine wrote. It's called in the shadow of a song and it's a lot about our people too so a lot of us write i'm not the only creative person in this family so i really love this little book and i thought well i'll show that on my shelf so anyhow these are just fun little things nothing nothing major i'm pretty simple this book is called oral okay. history it is by my favorite southern writer Lee Smith. This is definitely the type of uh, books that I figured she would have. A lot of knowledgeable books about history and whatnot, which is great. I love that. Because it's really uh, about Southern people. It's a wonderful story about families and love and romance and just the hard times that people go through. Lee Smith just tells a story in such a way that it just goes plumb deep into my soul and into my heart. And I just love her. And so if you have not read Lee Smith, you better get after it. <laughs> People say, what's the book that you have read more than any other? Well, it would definitely have to be this. My mom Bible. started reading this to us before we had books in our house. This is the Holy Bible, the King James Version. Of course, uh, I love the Old Testament and all those stories as well. But there's a lot of wisdom in here. I find a lot of strength and a lot of hope in reading the Bible. There's just something about the fact that it always seemed to anchor mama. She always seemed to anchor us. So I know that there's a lot of wisdom in here that I can always draw from. So there's stuff that I look in here. I write a lot of songs from verses I find in the Bible. Even the Psalms I think are beautiful. That makes sense. I'm not trying to promote religion to anybody, but they ask me what are the books that I've read and that are meaningful to me. And this most definitely is. 
As someone who is not religious at all, I can totally understand Dolly's perspective of creating her music through the inspiration of the Holy Bible. I totally understand that, and I think that is so cool. I bet you know this little book, right? A little, it's a little engine, engine that, that could. could. Okay. This is by Wadi Piper, and this is the first book in the Imagination Library, oh, my man. program where we give books to children, but... This was I also my enough. favorite book when I was growing up, and it still is. And I often tell people there's a lot of wisdom in this little book, and I always say that I am a little engine <laughs> that did. So this is a good book for everybody and anybody, and it just seems to last forever, and it's always on my shelf. My little nieces and nephews always say, hey, go read this book. book. <laughs> they love it. Books well, people ask me a lot. If I've ever written a book, well, yes, I have. I've written several books. I've written a, a book called I Am a Rainbow. Hmm. It's really about the moods of children and kind of explaining it's okay to feel anger, I love that. you know, the red, and I kind of rhyme it all up. I've written a book called My Life and Other Unfinished Business that's several years old. So I do love to write, and I do have now a brand new book. It's called Song Teller my life in lyrics. That is a and it beautiful really cover. Kind of tells stories, shows pictures of why and when I wrote the songs, what I was feeling when I wrote all the story songs, because I consider myself more than anything a songwriter, and I really love to tell stories because I love to read. So I thought Song Teller was a good title for a book for me. So I hope to continue writing more books, and I know for a fact I'll be reading more books. We love books. you, Dolly. Well, now this book, I bet you millions of people know. This is The Grapes of Wrath, and of course, who doesn't love John Steinbeck okay. and all the wonderful things that he's written? And I started reading Very this again. Book. I probably read this book three times in my life. But with all the craziness going on in the past year and all the hard times that people are having, I started kind of reading again a lot of the old classics. And this is one I picked up because I relate to the hard work and the poor people and the struggles and the times, but I just love this book. Wait, go back. I just wanted to see what these books were in the stack. Fair and Tender Ladies. It's all very classic uh, Southern books, which again, I totally understand her perspective of that. None of these books I have ever read before and I probably never will because that's not my style. And I see a lot of these books in her personality and the way she does things because she does so much for the community uh, for Nashville and she's just a really great person overall. We totally stand a Dolly Parton unless like she has some hidden dark secret that I'm very ignorant about that makes her not a good person, then I want to know. But I kind of doubt it. When I uh, want to know about books, I Best contact my sister. I say, ready? The YouTuber Holly Hart's books. So friends and family, we kind of swap books back and forth. And I also like to read all the books on the New York Times bestseller list. I also like to go through Oprah's Book Club, Reese Witherspoon's, and uh, Jenna Bush Hager's Club. So there's right. a lot of good books out there. And usually the kind that just kind of, kind of word of mouth are the ones that are the best. Word of <laughs> mouth is always the best. Do you know Adriana Tregiani? She's another one of my favorite writer. She's Italian. She lives in the city, but she grew up in Cumberland Gap uh, in the South. And this big stone gap, I just love this, but she writes so many wonderful things. Some of them are about the South, some of them are not. I love how she's promoting a lot of her, uh, the people in her life that she loves, their books, like the books that they've written, like her sister's book, her own books, and now a f some Italian friend. Like, that's a so lovely of her. Also, that cover is really pretty in the font. I like that. She's really an all-around kind of writer, but she's a wonderful, wonderful writer. And anytime she puts a book out, I just love it. But this book is really a special one, and I think you will love that. Well, people ask me if I would do e-reader or, or e hardcover. Well, I'm going to always pick a paper back book or a paper okay. book because I just love the feel of books. I love the smell yeah. of books. I love to smell that ink. You know, I just love <laughs> physically to touch a book. So even though I do sometimes when I'm flying, well, I'll read, you know, I'll read something, you know, online or whatever, but I really um, think the Kindle don't stand up like a good hard book. <laughs> Got that right. Well, thank you for joining us. And don't forget 
to that subscribe to Marie Claire okay. and don't forget to read a book. All right, Marie so that Mine. was very interesting. Okay, so that was Dolly Parton's bookshelf tour. I definitely predicted a lot of her reading taste. Speaking of books, I feel like Dolly Parton herself is an open book and you can totally tell the types of books that she loves. She's from the South. She reads a lot of Southern books. We did not see any Joe Abercrombie on her bookshelves, which is so sad. Really need to get her on that. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me down below if you found anything about Dolly Parton's reading taste interesting. I kind of wish the video was a little bit longer and that she would have delved into even more books on her shelves, but that is all we got. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. I upload videos every single week. And follow me on Instagram at Holly Hearts Books and on Twitter Holly and Anise, and until we meet again, happy reading!